Hey, how's it going guys? Um, hope you're all doing well. Wanted to make a video tonight and uh, show you the item that came in the mail today. Um, this is not something that I had planned on buying. Uh, it wasn't even something that I knew about or was aware that it existed. Um, but I'll tell you how I came to find out about it. Um, if you watched my video the other night, uh, I showed you a 1904 Red Sox program. Um, that, if you don't see it, is right here. I'm not going to tell you about it again, but uh, on the front there, there's a little cartoon image of Nuff Said McGreevy, who I spoke about in my other video. Um, and I've also, uh, in the past, mentioned a internet uh, website forum called uh, net54baseball.com, uh, which is a website that I uh, look at quite a bit. It's a really great resource for... Uh, mostly pre-war and vintage baseball cards. Um, lots of great information. It's a good uh, place to buy and sell cards. Um, so in addition to uh, posting my video about the program, I also uh, posted about it on Net54. And a short time after uh, I posted it, I got a, a message from a guy um, another member, not someone that I knew, but he sent me a message and he, he said that he had a Nuff Said McGreevy item uh, that didn't really fit in his collection. Um, he wasn't actively marketing it for sale, but uh, when he saw my video and also saw that uh, Nuff Said McGreevy was my avatar photo, um, that it might be something that I was interested in. And uh, we emailed back and forth a bit and... Uh, this is the item here. He gave me a really good, uh, fair price on this, and uh, I just uh, could not turn it down. So, what this is is a, a photo, um, and second from the left there, of course, is Nuff said McGreevy, and uh, it's a photo that was mounted on cardboard. I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of a thick photo, like a cabinet photo. Um, which were common uh, back in those days. And then it looks like it was trimmed down. Um, it's about three by five, maybe a little bit smaller. Um, but anyhow, I, uh, I bought the item from him, came today. Um, and in addition to McGreevy, I also was able to identify this guy here. That's Charlie Green, who was a long time uh, trainer for the Red Sox. And someone that can be seen in, in uh, other photos from around this time. Um, so I started doing a little bit more research. And uh, I mentioned in my other video that um, when Nuff said McGreevy closed his bar in 1920, he donated um, a pretty substantial memorabilia collection to the Boston Public Library. Um, and the items are still there today. And you can access them and view them online. Um, so I found this photo. This is just a photocopy of the, uh, the photo that's online. Um, but this is a photo that was taken in 1909 in Hot Springs, Arkansas at Red Sox Spring Training. It was taken actually uh, March 2nd, 1909. And the title is Michael T. McGreevy Presents Diamond Ring to Amby McConnell. Boston Red Sox spring training. And the previous year in 1908, um, McGreevy had promised to give a diamond ring to the Red Sox player that had the most stolen bases during the 1908 season. And Amby McConnell had 38 stolen bases, so he got the diamond ring. And uh, I guess that's him to the right of uh, McGreevy there getting the ring. Um, but I looked at some of the other people in this photo. And in particular, three on the right there. And the guy on the far right with the glove appears to be the same guy that is on the far right here. Probably a little hard for you guys to, to tell um, on the video, but appears to be the same guy. Um, additionally, the guy in the middle there crouching down, wearing the dark suit with the bowler hat and the catcher's mitt appears to be the same guy that's uh, second from the right there. Of 
course, next to him to his left is Charlie Green, the trainer. Um, he's wearing the same sweater in, in the photo here. Uh, one other guy, the guy uh, kneeling on the right there, also I think is in this photo. Um, it's going to be hard for you to tell, but uh, appears to be the same guy to the right of Amby McConnell there. Um, so anyhow, I think it's possible that the photo that I have was taken the same day as this one. Of, um, of course, enough said McGreevy wearing the same uniform also. Um, and in the background, you can see the trees in the background there appear to be similar to the trees in the background here. Um, so, not certain, but I think it's possible it was taken the same day. But regardless, I uh, thought this was a pretty cool item. Um, not the kind of thing that you come across every day. And enough said McGreevy is just a guy that I'm kind of interested in. He's an interesting character in pre-war Red Sox history. Um, so couldn't pass this item up. Uh, all right, let me know uh, what you think. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and uh, hope to uh, make another video soon, and uh, hope everyone has a good week. Thanks, bye.